Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We have an invaluable post from CIG's principal vehicle programmer addressing master modes and the direction of ship flight and combat that you are going to want to hear. We also have a little update on Alpha 3.23 and the latest RSI voluntary subscription stuff, the sub items and ships of the month for that. Let's jump right into the meat of this. There was a Spectrum thread Request for Yogi, can you make a video to show us what Master Mode Combat in 3.23 should look like? So, Master Modes, they're a suite of ship and combat updates. CIG's latest attempts at making ship flight and combat fun. Previously, they tried a couple of different flight and combat models and evolved them, but they sort of have gone, no, we want Master Modes, bam, this is a big overhaul of the sort of way your ship flies and a big separation of your combat functions with SCM mode and your sort of travel functions with nav mode. This is being released as part of Alpha 3.23 and obviously it's testable now in the PTU. It's sort of got a mixed reception. Now, it's certainly not a fully finished ironed out sort of set of features yet. There's a load more depth and refinement that needs to go into this. A lot of backers love the direction the CIG are going with master modes. A lot also think it's the wrong direction. Anyway, getting back to this post, the original poster says, Yogi Clat, who's the principal vehicle programmer at CIG, would you and your team be willing to take 30 minutes to make a video to show us what 1v1 master mode combat should look like with light and medium fighters and what squadron battles in master mode combat should look like between fighters and larger ships? If you do, can you narrate and tell us why you believe this current iteration is more fun than past ones? See this question as I would like to understand your team's thinking on this and see what master modes makes possible in the combat model that wasn't possible before in 3.22 live. Currently, it's unclear to me why your team believes that 3.23's iteration of master modes is more fun than 3.22 live or even prior versions of flight. If you're willing to do this, it may go a long way toward easing some of the dislike of master modes we're seeing on Spectrum. I think many of us aren't really clear on what is intended with the new slower flight mechanics in 3.23 or how this will lead to a more fun experience for everyone. Now, Yogi Clap responded to this and it is absolutely fantastic to see the direction and what his views are on this. Um, Yogi Cat said, no, I will not make a video about 3.23 combat, and that is for a number of reasons. The most important one is that it doesn't matter how we think the game should be played, it matters how players actually play it. We will try and steer the players in a certain direction due to the design and tuning values, but whether it works can't even be properly evaluated with experimental modes, which we had online for master modes for two whole releases. It can only be seen once we play test it with a wide user base that has very different capabilities, hardware, equipment, and play styles. And this is exactly what we're doing right now by pushing the changes out to 3.23. I think the reason why you asked your question is because you're unhappy with the current state and polish of the features. And you know what? I would agree. Going a bit further on this from my dev point of view, it was extremely important to get all of the Squadron 42 tech concerning master modes, aiming, ship retunings, etc. into 3.23. Doing this all in one quarter was very challenging, and we said multiple times that 3.23 won't be the combat Jesus patch and that there should not be an expectation of a perfectly balanced game. It was just too much content for the team size we have. So, while there is a certain risk to push a feature out early, the simple truth here is that it also saves time further down the line. First, all of the features get a lot of exposure to players which gives us way more feedback and useful game analytics. Second, it saves internally a lot of maintenance time as we don't need to care anymore about the legacy systems. So we opted for the variant to be bold and get the stuff into players' hands earlier than keeping to develop it without feedback. So, based on that, I'm summing up my own feelings like this. I am very happy with the progress of Master Modes in 3.23, and I think it is in a good enough state to offer a better gameplay experience compared to 3.22. It was a huge challenge to pull all that tech into the persistent universe, and most of the ships are now in a better relationship to each other specifically in group fights. I am not happy with the overall state of master modes, or shall we say the flight and combat experience, as we've not hit all the markers we wanted to hit. 
And just to make it clear that we hear players, here are some of the issues that we'd like to approach. Some of them are from our own lists, others come directly from player feedback, some from both, in no particular order. Snub fighters are not really where they need to be. Light fighters are too weak now. 1v1 dogfights are lacking. Ability to evade shots, adding jerk back into IFCS, trying out an egg-shaped velocity space to suppress back strafing, iterating on the AI to make it less perfect when we want, teaching the AI not to over-rely on back strafing, iterating on the nav SEM spool times, ESP not being as good as it needs to be, turret ESP being somewhat wacky on sticks, making the pilot combat less about aim and more about flight, the aiming system network not performing well enough, issues with certain mining and salvaging ships not being able to use gimbals from cockpit seats, issues with g-force zoom effects being inconsistent, specific ship tunings that feel out of whack, e.g. Redeemer, Saber, etc. Iterating with the speed walls and ship tunings in general, missiles flying way too fast for master modes tuning, further tweaks with flight mechanics and combat geometry. So, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff related to the flight and combat experience that needs to be addressed. Once that has happened, we might consider making a video, but that point is not now. And even when we reach it, I'd say that our content creators will do a much better job than us bunch of devs working on flight and combat. Hope that makes sense. I just thought that was a absolutely fantastic, honest and blunt response from Yogi there, giving us a load of insight into CIG's direction and plans for master modes, combat and ship flight. And they're basically saying it needs more time in the oven, but they're loving the direction it's currently going. Now, will the user base, will the players enjoy that a lot? Well, hopefully. I'm very much in the opinion of I actually like the direction of Master Modes, but it does need a load more depth, it does need a load more refinement, and I understand that some people are very much, and, and correctly so, saying that we're losing some of the cool depth and feel of the previous combat model, but I do think we can actually recapture that and actually get it in a better state if we give the Master Mode stuff time to cook quite genuinely because I, I, I do think it, it's really important for people to play 3.23 and give their feedback on master modes as they stand at the moment and help develop the direction of that tell CIG what you like about it what you don't like about it but it's going to be a lot of people being like well we've we've lost some depth we need uh, a bit more to it and I do want to very much state that it's not just master modes well master modes is part of a suite of loads of combat and ship updates that are with 3.23 that all need to be talked about together and that that is basically what they're talking about when they talk about master modes they are talking about all the combat and gunnery updates and operator modes and all of this stuff sort of at the same time but yeah i'm really interested to know what your thoughts are on this do you think no it's the totally wrong direction or yeah actually maybe it's the right direction as long as they are mindful of certain things and they can get it into a good state i'm just yeah tell me what you think because it's super important for everyone's ideas and opinions to get into the cooking pot i do think it's important to still give your feedback in a concise and reasonable manner it's one of the joys of star citizen for me you get involved with the development basically anyway let's move on star citizen now for 3.23 at time of recording it's still an open ptu we're waiting for it to go live they are plowing through with more and more fixes every day but there are still bugs in the build and that is the reason they've been holding it back Alpha 3.23 is really pressed for time though and cig's stance is that they want to get more players testing it get it out to live and then people can help id those bugs they can expand out concurrency they can move on with getting more features done and move on to like 4.0 and that sort of stuff so you can expect live this week i was expecting it last week yes and i apologize for people who are like the board was really confident on it well i'm confident on it being live this week potentially um by the time you see this video it will be live it's it's going to be asap so hopefully it's in a good state but anything major that's that's problematic should get hot fixed pretty quickly will they run xeno threat for like a week or will they delay it until after fleet week is another good question as well now because they're trying to get sort of xeno threat in before fleet week is that actually possible also as they confirmed they are wiping alpha uec with this patch but they haven't confirmed whether your ships bought with alpha uec will get wiped or not i suggest spending all your alpha uec on ships and trying them out now and maybe you'll get to keep them in 3.23 when it goes live you'll have to wait and see and then just quickly want to talk about subscriber promotions for may so um, the rsi voluntary subscribers are getting a few little bits the ships of the month 
are the X1, the little hover bike, and the 400i. If you are a Centurion, a standard subscriber, uh, you basically get that X1 to try all month. And then if you are a Imperator, you get the X1 and the 400 series. And uh, there's also additional insurance that you get with those ships if you decide to buy them. You have access to purchase them uh, as well. There's some cool weapons as well going out to subs. So you have the Valor series of FPS weapons in blue and gold. The Lumen 5 SMG for Centurions and Imperators. Actually, looks pretty cool in, in blue and gold, to be honest. And then you've got the Karna Rifle for Imperators and the F-55 LMG in the sub store, which you can buy if you are a sub. Um, and you can buy all those other sub items from previous months as well if you are interested. But you will be able to eventually find these items in game in the in-game loot pool and basically they're around a like three month exclusivity window so and um, these ones won't be in the game for at least three months but eventually you'll be able to find them in game if you are lucky boom that's your star citizen updates today i'm really interested to know do you like the look of these sort of sub items that will be in the loot pool eventually but obviously rsi subs get them are you looking forward to alpha 3.23's release when do you think it's going to release if it's not already released by the time you see this video what do you think of master modes at the moment and the sort of direction of ship flight and did you like what yogi clap was saying there or do you think no no this is this is just bad and if so why tell us in the comments down below i would love to hear from you we have some other stuff going on there's your ship giveaway we're giving away a spirit c1 all you need to do is comment on any of my videos to have a chance of winning that throughout may it comes with a game package it comes to lifetime insurance all you need to play star citizen nordvpn that's something that helps you go on the internet and not have to worry about security and privacy so much you can also use it for more internet accessibility going oh i'm going to sp spoof coming from japan and then watch all my favorite anime nordvpn.com slash board gamer check it out in the links below it helps out the channel something else that helps out the channel is clicking on the links for toby eye tracker which is on sale until the 15th of may use the links down below natively supported high precision eye and head tracking oh suit you sir oh my god thanks for watching please consider supporting the channel with the join button under my videos or patreon or just liking subscribing sharing these videos it does really help thanks so much for watching you take care have a great may